I'm Evelyn. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. So today we are building a family home in Newcrest. This one is a little bit more on the, I want to call it modern, but I don't know if I'm calling it the right thing. It might also be contemporary. I'm not gonna lie. Just uh, admitting that I don't know any better. But anyway, um, so we're building this. It's inspired by what I think is a Thai house that I found on Pinterest. And I have been looking a lot of, you might recognize the shape a little bit, but it's because there is this like really, I found like a, like a, um, a gold mine, I almost want to call it, but, <laughs> but I found a lot of these kind of houses that have been created by a Thai company or something. And they're all like not A-shaped because that's something else, but they all have this like A-shaped roof to them and then they're kind of boxy and they remind me of Scandinavian design or um, architecture, but they're not Scandinavian because they're Thai, but I feel like they might be inspired by Scandinavian architecture or something. Um, so I've built a lot of these in the past as well, or not a lot, but like a couple, like five or something. The neighboring house to this one is another one of them. And I was just really in the mood to build something not suburban and not a cottage because I've been building a lot of those lately. So I dug out my, my folder, or not my folder, but my Pinterest board with these houses and decided on one. And I thought this one was uh, pretty cool. It has this like opening on the right side of the house with some glass stuff going on. You might be able to see it a little bit now and then, but... I don't know, I thought it was a cool detail, so I really wanted to see if I could recreate it in The Sims. And it doesn't exactly look like it does in the actual house picture, like the the real house. But um, I did my best. Not everything is translatable into The Sims, so, or convertible is a, well, how, wait, convertible? Is that a car? <laughs> anyway, it's not possible to convert everything into The Sims or build everything in The Sims, but I gave it a shot. So a bit of a late upload today. I have been visiting a friend of mine. This is relevant to the video, by the way, just so you know. Um, but I've been visiting a friend of mine today and she just moved into a house with her boyfriend. So they had a house built and it's super cool. It was very nice to see everything finally done and they're slowly moving in there because they started moving in there like Friday, so a couple of days ago. And um, yeah, I just, it's kind of funny because I think parts of this house subconsciously were inspired by some of their house. Because like I knew that the day that this was going live that, so today, that I was going to go there and visit them. And I don't know, I feel like that might have bled into this interior just a little bit. Because now that I'm looking at it, <laughs> when I was taking the screenshots, I was like... It kind of reminds me a little bit of their house, like I'm not gonna lie, just like certain bits of it. It's not a one-to-one, -one, not at all, but there's certain things about it that kind of remind me a little bit of their house. It was super cool to see though. I also, she cares a lot about interior, obviously. I do too, otherwise I would not be doing this. <laughs> so, otherwise I would not be building so much. Um, so it's just kind of, it's cool to sit there and talk about how she wants to decorate everything and like get an idea of like actually sitting in the space and getting a, an idea of what everything is going to look at like at the end of it. I cannot speak for the life of me, but I'm going to try anyway. So we're going to get through this voiceover. Just, uh, just caught me some slack, okay? Um, but yeah, it was just really cool. And we were talking a little bit about, I also have to move with this during this year as well and like the whole finding a new space and turning it into a home and stuff and it was just cool so I don't know it's just kind of but there are certain things about this house when I was taking the screenshots that kind of reminded me a little bit of their house so although it's not it's not nearly as big but that's just Danish houses in general are not huge houses whereas this I will say like size proportions are different in The Sims but it's definitely to me it's a little bit of a bigger house so houses in The Sims are always a little bit boxier than they would be in real life in my personal opinion but at the same time like furniture takes up a lot more space. I don't know how that works, but maybe that's why the houses turn out so boxy because they just need to be able to room all that furniture or something. 
Am I even making sense right now? I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, that's what I've been up to today. And that's why this video is a little bit late. But I also thought it was kind of funny taking the screenshots and being able to recognize a little bit here and there. Like just subconsciously inspired by some of uh, some of their interior, which was pretty funny. So I hope you guys will like this one though. It's built in Newcrest. It's built on a 30 by 20 and it's for one or two parents and then one teen and one kid. So it has one bathroom total, which I felt was okay. That's not completely uncommon either. So just say, you know, although I will say in a lot of like newer Danish houses, they might have I'm talking common here, by the way, I'm not saying that this is Scandinavian inspired because it is a Thai house, just, just saying, but um, <laughs> I also know that it seems to be very common in the US to have a lot of bathrooms <laughs> and that's not what I'm personally used to. I will say for a house this size, they would probably have a bathroom on the ground floor as well as one on the second floor um, here in Denmark, but I just couldn't really fit it. Well, I could have fit it into the floor plan, but I decided not to because I didn't like how it looked. So it would have been as like an extension of the parents' bedroom, but I ended up placing the parents' bedroom where the garage was supposed to be. And so I just, I didn't like how it looked when it came to the floor plan. I didn't like it. I wanted their bedroom to be a little bit more spacious and open. And so adding a toilet or a bathroom there would have, taken some of the space away from the room. So they have one bathroom. It's on the second floor. It's just the way it is this time. But um, I have done other houses where they have a lot more bathrooms. So yeah, also actually not using, speaking of bathrooms, not using the bathroom clutter kit for this house uh, just because I built it last week before I got the kit. So None of that in this one. Just so you know, you're not going to see any of that stuff in action, not today. However, it will be included in future builds that I'm building from now on. I say last week, but I built it this week. It's just the weekend is over for me. My weekend is Friday, Saturday or yeah, Friday, Saturday. So I, I'm already on like next week mode. I got to get used to that a little bit. So anyway, um, but yeah, there will be bathroom clutter kit stuff in the future builds because this upcoming week starting tomorrow we're doing week two of zodiac houses i hope i can manage to do all four houses but it's also my birthday tuesday so i'm a little bit yeah a little bit like i gotta hurry through some stuff <laughs> or something i don't know how to phrase this i'm just uh, i'm just gonna be a little bit busy this week but I'm gonna do my best to get those builds up for you, okay? I'm gonna do my best. Otherwise, the fourth one might be going up next week on like Monday or Tuesday or something, okay? But we'll get four houses for sure. The next four houses will be some of the Zodiac tiny houses. I can't remember what sign we're on. I think it's Leo, but anyway. I feel like my voice sounds weird today, but I'm also, I have a little bit of like a sore throat, so just ignore it if it does. It feels weird, I feel like a cough coming in, but we're just kindly gonna agree to uh, to ignore that, right? Okay, glad we're on the same page. So for the interior of this house, I prefer for these kind of houses to have open space when it comes to the common areas. So that is the kitchen, dining room, and also the living room. It just makes like, they're, they're the spaces that people hang out in during the day, at least if you're not a teenager. <laughs> So um, I'm only speaking from personal experience, okay? Um, so, or whenever you have like Friday nights where you're watching a movie together with the family or you're having family dinners or something. I don't know what it's, I don't, anyway. Um, so <laughs> I'm just saying like, I don't, I don't know how that works, but you know, family dinners, yeah. So I like to have those rooms very open and just shared and, you know, it's in one space because then people can sit at the dining table and maybe play like a board game or something while someone else and the mom or something is sitting on the couch and watching TV. You know, I say the mom, but like one of the parents. Um, so it's just, I like when everything is sort of in the same room. It, yeah, I was about to say a Danish word and that's not gonna fit. But, or I, I can say it anyway, because I'm assuming a lot of you guys actually know it by now. It's just uh, hygge. Yeah, it's nice. It's cozy. Everyone's feeling content. 
and um, it's very open. Everyone's in the same room and just enjoying each, in each other's presence. I can't talk. <laughs> so hopefully you get what I mean, though. So that's the bottom floor, the ground floor in this house. And then the parents' bedroom turned out to be very spacious. But I do like how the room ended up being... Or ended up being I should say I should have said this earlier in the voiceover but I forgot so some of the items I built this I can't remember it must have been like Tuesday or Wednesday or something like that Tuesday, Wednesday probably Wednesday um, I took the screenshots today but when I opened up the game today to take the screenshots I noticed that some of the items clutter pieces along with some of the shelves from dream home decorator were actually gone like they just kind of disappeared so i don't know what that is about um uh, maybe some elves came in and stole them or something maybe the game just hates me that's fair but um i can respect that but that happened so the screenshots might look a little bit different in certain spots than what was shown in the video but that's just because i've tried to i can't remember exactly what items i actually put down where <laughs> so it's especially in the parents' bedroom, but also the child's child's bedroom. Bedroom, I think it was. There was like a, a toy missing or something. It's weird. Why is that still happening with the shelves from you know the boxy shelves, the square shelves from Dream Home Decorator? They still go missing sometimes, and then the clutter goes missing. And okay, I know that it ends up being in the household inventory. The thing is though that my household in inventory is filled with stuff because this is my play tester. So I don't want to open it <laughs> for the sole reason that it makes my game very, very laggy. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not going to. I'm going to sit down one day and completely empty her household inventory. But as it is right now, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> just so you know. But I think... What happens when you close down the game is just kind of deletes it, but then it ends up not being deleted, but put in your household's inventory. It's a whole thing. But anyway, so I tried to recreate it. It might look a little bit different from the screenshots or from the video. The screenshots in the video might look a little bit different from each other, but just so you know, just wanted to give you guys a heads up that that's a thing. So we're almost going into February now as well. If there are any themes, like any theme weeks you'd like to see from me in February, let me know. I kind of still want to do some. I also kind of still, that sounded very convincing <laughs> anyway. Um, I still want to do theme weeks now and then. So if there are any, let me know. But we still got two more Zodiac tiny house weeks to go through as well. So I don't, I don't think, feel like spacing those out. I think I'm going to do one week here in the upcoming week. Then one week of just random builds that I feel like putting out there. And then one week with more Zodiac houses with the last four. But if there are anything else, like any other theme, week, theme weeks that you'd like to see from me, let me know. I'm also very interested in trying to track when the, or try to track as if I can do that. I don't know anything, but when the EP is coming out, because if I am planning a theme week and like preparing for it, and then suddenly there's an EP coming out, I can't do that theme week, you know? Like it's a whole thing. I need to... I need to know things, otherwise I can't plan things. That's the whole that's the whole thing. Yeah, things. So I don't know. It's like I would love to know what's going on with IEP. I mention it in every single video and I know this, but I'm like genuinely confused why they posted that roadmap and then said that there was gonna be an EP and like wh when? <laughs> when is there going to be an EP? Because it's not usually out until the summer. And it looks like it's coming out before the summer. So I'm confused. So yeah, keeping an eye out for that as well. But like, I don't I don't know anything. Nobody's telling me anything. So I don't know anything. <laughs> and I will continue to not know things. Okay, that's, uh, that's, that's just how it is, I suppose. But anyway, we're almost done with the common rooms, I think. So we ended up going for... The color scheme is like very black and white. But then with this brown as you can see on the chairs I was I took it from the couch because I really wanted to use swatches for the couch or a swatch for the couch that actually had some color on it so not just like beige or white or gray or black you know I wanted there to be some color in this interior and so I really like this green I you might say that like I don't like green as a color I don't 
it's a whole thing. I know it's very ironic because if you know me, I have like 40 plants in my apartment, <laughs> but I don't actually like the color green. It's a whole thing. But I do like, I do like uh, decorating with it in The Sims. It's very pleasant to decorate with. So I decided to go for the green color, but I was also very close to choosing the blue because the blue is actually really nice on that couch as well. So bringing that into the rest of the house meant that I had to match the kitchen with the couch, even though that's not necessarily super realistic, but um, some people like matchy things. I'm not one of those, but I did this for those of you who do like matchy things. You're welcome. So the rest of the house as well is kind of going for the same brown color too. And then we're just adding some, you know, green in there as well, just to mix it up a little bit and some black and white, obviously, and with a little bit of gray here and there too. And um, other than that, just kind of going for actually a very Scandinavian, very modern kind of interior like like that. So um, yeah, I hope this is your thing. If it's not, then maybe the next house will be for you. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, the next house should be a Leo house. So hopefully it's for the Leos out there. I will probably not nail that one. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit nervous about it because Leos tend to make me nervous. They don't. One of my good friends, Sam, you might know her. Hey, Harry is a Leo. She doesn't make me nervous, <laughs> so I don't know. One of my other best friends here in real life is also a, uh, here in real life. Yeah, okay. Um, outside of the Sims community is what I wanted to say. <laughs> I don't know why I said in real life. Sam, you're still a friend of mine in real life <laughs> anyway. She's not watching this video. Don't tell her I said that, okay? Just don't, don't tell her I, I mess up. Just let's keep it between you and I. Um, but my friend here is also, she's also a Leo. So like Leo is me, we get along, but you're kind of making me a little bit, a little bit nervous. So I'm not gonna lie. So just, just please don't hate the house. Okay. Actually, it's very ironic that I'm probably going to release it on Tuesday and I'm going to talk about myself throughout the whole voiceover because Tuesday's my birthday and Leos don't like that. <laughs> As far as I've learned, at least. I love you, Leos. Please don't take offense to anything. You're amazing. The whole bunch of you. Okay. Just, we're, we're just joking around here. But um, I just find that kind of funny a little bit. I'm going to promise not to make it about me. It's all about you, Leos. Okay. We're on the same page. Don't worry about me. But actually should probably not talk about zodiac signs because this is not a zodiac video. I'm just trying to get in the headspace again to make zodiac houses because now it's been one or two weeks, I can't remember. But I also wanted to say, and this is regarding my birthday. So I got my first birthday gift and it's from my mom. Cause we were sitting at a cafe that we were just sitting there. I was reading she was checking her phone or her iPad, even though she said she was gonna read, but she was playing games on her iPad or something. And you can get subscriptions to this cafe so that every two hours you can get a drink I want to say for free, but you still paid for it, if you get what I mean. Like, you still paid for the subscription. However, if you get more than, like, nine drinks, they're free. So there's one of these coffee shops just around the corner from me, which means that it would be very easy for me to go there and get a drink. Like, it takes me, like, three minutes to walk there or something. Um, and she was like, I'm going to get you your first present. It's going to be a subscription to this coffee place. And I'm like... Mom, you know I don't drink coffee, <laughs> and she bought it for me anyway. So I have decided that, first of all, I'm probably going to mostly use it for one of the only things that I actually do like from the coffee shop, which is chai. It's very nice tea, very, like, I want to call it spicy, but it's not hot spicy. It's just kind of, it's very nice. If you haven't tried chai can highly recommend it. But I'm also gonna use this subscription to try and see if I can actually find some kind of coffee that I do like. So this is where you come into the picture because I know nothing about coffee other than I don't like it. So if there is any coffee, if there's any kind of coffee, you might also be wondering, why is a girl who has insomnia thinking about getting into coffee? I don't know, it's not logical, let's not dwell on it. But if you know of any any kind of coffee that doesn't taste, taste too much like coffee, like the bitter taste of coffee, because that's the stuff that I don't like, if there are any types or like any drink with coffee that tastes good, so not bittery and not coffee, e, uh, anyway, 
let me know. Like, help a girl out. I would love to get some pointers so that I know where to begin in this whole new universe of coffee. That would be great. I'd actually really appreciate that. Like, I would be very thankful if you helped me out a little bit. So let me know. But yeah, she, she gave me that subscription and now I'm finding myself feeling like I have to learn how to drink coffee because it just feels like such such an obvious, like, you know, like it's... I don't know how to phrase this, but it's going to be free for the next month. So I might as well give it a shot. You know what I mean? Yeah. So anyway, but... Thanks to my mom for that. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna get so much chai, but also I have to watch out because chai is not necessarily super healthy. Um, but we're working on the second floor of the house right now. This is the child's room. I wanted it to be a little bit dreamy and very cute. So I went with mostly white furniture, but just like because the bed is blue. Um, it also matches the mirror and also some of the stuff here on the bookcase. But I also wanted just to add like a touch of pink as well. I like those two colors together. I think they just, they're very soft and cute and nice together in some way. I hope that makes sense. Um, and then, oh yeah, I'm, I've started my project <laughs> that I talked about in the last video. I want, I'm losing my voice. Let's ignore it. Okay. I want to, um, I want to try to make every swatch of these high school years beds work in some capacity. So in this house, I actually went with one that's green and yellow. We're gonna see it in just a little bit. It's very plancy. I really like it actually, even though yellow and green, not my favorite color combination, not at all, not even close. But I do like the swatch. I like the, uh, I like the pattern on it as well. It's very nice. So we're gonna get into that in just a second. But I just remembered because I looked at the floor plan picture. I always have the floor plan up on my other monitor when I'm doing my voiceovers so that I can keep track of where we are in the build because otherwise I get lost and we don't want that. Not that I always talk about the build, but it's important to not get lost in your own stuff, right? So I want to, uh, just in case you didn't watch the last video, I want to try to make every single, cause there are so many swatches of the high school years beds. And I know that I tend to go for the same color schemes over and over and over. It's a thing. I like certain colors. I hate other colors. I'm very picky and choosy and I'm very biased. So, and I realize this, I own up to it. You know, anyway, those of you who have been yelling at me for years, I, he I hear you and I agree. So I want to try to make all the different swatches of, actually it's not that green, it's more like mint, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. Anyway, I want to make them all work somehow. So I'm going to get out of my comfort zone just a little bit to try to make these different swatches work some way or another. And um, obviously the, the rug is supposed to match some of the leaves on the bedding instead. And then we're working with a little bit of mint here and there, but it's mainly yellow. It's not really like a, like a challenge challenge. So don't think of it like that. Cause it's not, it's just for me to try it, to not get stuck in the same swatches over and over. I think it's going to be good. Um, I'm just gonna have a little bit of an issue trying to keep track of which swatches, <laughs> swatches, swatches. Uh, that I've actually done already, so that's a thing. If I accidentally do the same one twice, please don't yell at me. <laughs> I'm gonna try, but I don't always rem remember exactly what I've done, so like what I've built or what swatches I've used or what color schemes I go for. I don't always remember, so just, you know, cut me some slack or something. <laughs> Speaking of cutting me some slack, um, I forgot to decorate the bathroom until the very end, so so it might not be included in the video. I don't know what happened. Like I genuinely do not know what happened. And I was laughing a lot when I noticed because it's so stupid. Like we just got a new kit, right? The When I did this build, I knew that the kit was going to be released. I had already seen they posted about it. And then out of all the rooms, I forget to decorate the bathroom. Like it's so ironic. <laughs> so just that happened cut me some slack. I don't, I don't know how or why, but just please don't yell at me. The bathroom is done though. You can see it at the end of the video, the pictures of it. It's a three by three. It's kind of beigey and it's a bathroom. There you go. It's functional. It has what it needs. There's a bathtub shower combo in there, you know. Yeah, I've been honest with you. Every time I've said that I don't like decorating bathrooms, 
I was speaking from my heart and my voice just cracked. Anyway, um, I'm really losing my voice. I think it's because it's so cold outside and I haven't slept, as you can probably tell. But my point is, I just, I don't like decorating bathrooms. And for some reason, I just keep pushing them. Like, I keep pushing decorating them until the very end so that sometimes... I push them too much and I just forget. That, that's a thing. It doesn't happen very often, but it does happen. Sometimes I even forget to do the floor plan with a bathroom as if my sims don't have to pee or bathe, you know, but it's, uh, I always get you, I always got you at the end. I got you covered. Don't worry about it, but it's a whole thing. I'm a terrible builder. But anyway, we've learned to live with it by now. Like you've accepted that part of it, right? Because please. <laughs> it's been like this for years and I just never learn. It's the whole thing. So it happened again. I apologize, but there is a bathroom in the house. Okay. Don't worry about it. I even added it when I was floor planning. So like, it's not like I forget, forgot the bathroom completely. I just forgot to decorate it until the very end, but it's nice. It's a bathroom. It works. It has what it, what it needs to work. Okay. As for um, the landscaping, I actually, this is going to sound so narcissistic, but the house next to this one, um, I also kind of like doing this though, because then the two houses look like they belong next to each other in the neighborhood. Um, but I was kind of inspired by the landscaping that I did on that house. So we're framing up these areas and then I'm using terrain tool or not terrain tool, um, terrain paint to do this like gravel and dirt patches or whatever you call this and then I'm just framing it up with these sort of like grassy flowery bits and then adding a lot of green and white landscaping foliage to it as well so that's basically what we're doing throughout the whole house both here at the front but also in the backyard and just adding some rocks as well to um to the the edges of the grassy parts as well just to make it look slightly more realistic the only thing that doing landscaping like this you can see it at the back in just a little bit but there is a small part of the landscaping the foliage right here that is on a platform and i can't do terrain paint on a platform it's just I'm, nobody can <laughs> it's not possible they don't allow us to do that in the sims so we're gonna have to just, uh, there's no dirt underneath this grass, which annoys me personally, but I know it's not gonna annoy some other people because we all have our different things. Um, but that's the only bit that's like, looks a little bit off compared to some of the other bits because it doesn't have the dirt. But other than that, it basically just looks like this landscaping. It was very inspired by, by the neighboring house, just so you know. I don't often get inspired landscaping wise by my own houses, but when I do, I'll be honest and tell you. <laughs> But honestly, I do like that the two houses fit next to each other in this way. So anyway, uh, but yeah, that's about it for today, I think. So if you guys like this house, you can download it off the gallery. My ID is EvelynYT and you can also find it under the hashtag Evelyn or EvelynYT. And as always, the trade files can be found over on my Patreon, which will be linked to in the description box as well as in the pinned comment, where you can also find a link to my booktube channel. So if you like to watch videos where people talk about books, recommend books, nerd out about books, so definitely check out that channel. But that is all I got for you guys today, so I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye! Guys